squash with meatball recipe that I watched the Ozark Duke do yesterday on his video and I told him that I would like to try it and that if I did I would um, say where I got the recipe from. So thank you Rusty and if you guys want to go check his channel out please do so. All right to get started you need the spaghetti squash. I just can't do it so I'm going to have to have my hubby come in and help me. He heard me. And about like where that mark is right there. One, one and a half inches. I'm left handed. I got to turn yeah. around. Might have to stab it like I did. You want me to go get my chainsaw? <laughs> it might do better. We were standing here to catch it. Yeah. Or a hacksaw. All right. Then we're going to take a baking sheet, the butter on the bottom of it. going to clean out all of the seeds in here. All right, so put them on the baking sheet and then you're going to want to butter them really well. Yeah, Rusty made this uh, recipe and it looked so good yesterday that I thought, I've got to try that. Okay? Okay, another thing that you're going to be needing is uh, ground beef and ground pork. So I'm going to mix these together with all of my seasons, seasonings and stuff I have out over there. And I'll show you what's next. Okay, so while the oven is heating up, I thought I would go ahead and mix some stuff. So I've got already a few of the herbs and stuff down in here. And before I forget, I better try to get this, my wedding rings off. Oh, hands are swollen today, that old arthritis. Okay, go ahead and throw in, I think we've got, what is it, a pound of each? Yeah. So that's the ground beef, and then here's the ground pork. We're going to really want to just season this to taste. Um, I'm going to put, I've got, I don't know what all I put in there. I've got, I put some of the back up in the cabinet. And then I thought maybe some um, garlic and herb and garlic powder, just a little bit of that. I love garlic, as you guys know. Okay. Some of this on top. And like I said, I've got the other seasonings in the bottom of the bowl. Just gonna mix this together. Hope you guys have all had a great day so far. I haven't watched the news um, about the hurricane that's coming through. Um, last thing I knew it was just changing course and all that, so I don't know where it's going to end up at now. But I have friends that are in Florida and friends that are in North Carolina, friends that are in um, Georgia, and so yeah, I'm not sure going to pray for all their safety and everyone else's safety too. I was going to tell you guys, I was, uh, I went out last night, every night we 
shut the, the coop door for the chickens. And um, last night, first time this has ever happened, I walked out into the, they usually go in, now that it's getting dark earlier, they usually go into their coop about 8.30 or so. And I went out a little after that and uh, was going to shut the door, the little door, to their coop. Almost stepped on an egg. One of them had laid an egg in the middle of the run. <laughs> I have no idea what caused that, but yep. I got this little bowl at a um, antique store up in, I believe it was in Michigan. Yeah, Michigan when we went there last year on vacation with my sister and her husband. And the color almost matches my walls here in the kitchen. I thought it was so cute. It's it's an older bowl. And um, I only gave a couple bucks for it, so I thought that's a great deal. Okay, I'm going to go over and wash my hands and show you what's next. Um, Rusty, when he made this recipe, he made them into meatballs, rounded them all up, and then put them in the center of the spaghetti squash. Well, I'm not as um, professional. I'm just going to take some, mush it, put it in a hole. <laughs> Anything to save a little bit of time, you know. I can't wait to eat, try these. They, they just look like they're going to be wonderful. I've got another squash, spaghetti squash, in the um, refrigerator, so I can always. I got some of this left over. I can always make some. Tomorrow, I don't know if it's going to hurt to have them run over a little bit. I've got one that's sitting directly in the hole and one that's over top a little bit. But I'm not sure if it's going to hurt anything. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. Um, try that. And I'll put foil over it. And then you want to stick it in an oven at 400 degrees. And we're going to bake them for about an hour. Uh, the reason that we put the foil over, you wouldn't have to if you were just doing the squash. Um, but with the hamburger and stuff, it was recommended to put foil, so that's what we're going to do. For 400 degrees, for an hour to an hour and five minutes, so about 60, 65 minutes. So, we'll be back. Alright, so now we're over at the stove top, and I'm going to start making the sauce. The spaghetti sauce that we're going to put on top of the spaghetti squash and meatball. This is the the three stride step that I used before. Remember when I made the what I had left in the kitchen? I think the title was called. But anyway, it made so much that today I am actually going to cut this in half since it's just Steve and I. So I've got so far um, two cups of water. and then a half a cup of this tomato. Oh, and I'm getting it all over my stove. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like I make a mess when I cook. I have to wipe everything off. Okay, so we'll start with that. And then I'm not sure if it will be too thick and we might have to add more water. And then once it gets done, I am going to do some more of the garlic and herbs. I think that's gonna be it. I've got some other things up there that I could use. And it might help if I turn the right burner on. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. One of them days. We had to stop down and get this meat from a little meat market instead of going all the way out where we usually go. And uh, I stopped and 
dropped off my youngest sister some pickles and then her son a jar of pickles. Uh, his birthday's coming up and so happy birthday Perry. Um, but anyway, and a, a dozen of eggs. So she's been a sweetheart and constantly saving egg cartons and stuff for me, so I appreciate that. And gave her a dozen of eggs and our chickens are laying really well. They're still small. Um, a couple of the chickens have started getting a little bit larger eggs, but most of them are still small. Now Steve just went out a little bit ago and got these last five. You see those? So they're doing wonderful now. I'm so tickled about that. But my sister's been sick, so I just wanted to stop down and check on her and give her uh, those pickles. I hope that they enjoy them. All right, we'll let this boil and I'll be right back. I did want to say, yeah, it's hot and muggy outside and we've got our air on, but I just have been burning my candle. I've already got a lot of it burnt down since I bought it, but if you guys ever see these, that heirloom pumpkin, it is amazing. I love anything that has like a vanilla smell. So good. Hey, it's starting to boil. I'm going to go ahead and put this powder in. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Love that color. Top. Seems like you need a lot more because this is just tomatoes, freeze-dried tomatoes, so don't be afraid to add a lot of things for your to season it if you ever purchase freeze-dried tomatoes. That's all that's in that, hand, that can. Can you see that well? Trying new uh, camera angles today for this video. And I hope that you guys are enjoying them. Woo! Alrighty, I added a little more water. Actually, you could probably use a little bit more. See, that's what I'm saying. When you're starting to cook with something new that you've not cooked with very often, don't be afraid to just try and Nothing is a perfect science. You just have to do it to your taste, the thickness that you like. And there we go. Okay, need salt. I got to give me another spoon rest. I'm not sure what happened to one I had. This is that pink Himalayan uh, sea salt. Just started using that not too awful long ago. It's supposed to be healthy for you, I don't know. I'm sure it's gonna need more than that. Yep. I'm not even a crazy salt person, except when you do any vegetables like this. Gotta have salt. Oh, that's much better. All right, we'll be back. All righty, so they're done, and it took about 15 minutes more. Um, what I did was I left them in for an hour and then I took off the aluminum foil, put them back in for 15 minutes. So what you're going to do is you're, you're going to want to cut around. Let me get me a fork to hold that. Hold on. So you're, wanna gonna, you're going to want to cut around to get that outside rim off
Oops. Okay. And got my fine china out. <laughs> set this down over here honey this will actually see how that pulls apart the whole thing will pull apart like that so I'm gonna have my husband take a bite let it cool for a second all right gonna have my hubby try it we also tried that um, diet a and W root beer, it is really good. Did you put Parmesan on yours, honey? No. You like it? Yeah, that's good. So there you have it, folks. Everybody have a great day and thank you so very much. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.